welcome back to the garage everybody. So you can see I finally got myself a seat for the MR2. So the next thing we need to do is make some brackets to mount it in the car. Let's get to work. Alright, so first things first, we're going to need a bit of material to use to make these brackets out of. So what I got today is a piece of stock steel that you can get from Lowe's, Home Depot, or any other big box store. So as you can see here, this is what they market as Hillman Weld Steel. So this particular piece is 1 8 by 2 inch and it's 4 feet long. This is actually the cut model, but this is what we'll be using. And for, from here we need to go over and start taking some measurements. All right, now at this point, it's time to start taking our measurements. So get yourself some paper. We're going to start with our seat measurements. We're going to work over and take car measurements. So some of the measurements we're going to need to keep in mind is the width of the seat. As you can see, these are all slotted holes. So we do have some bit of margin. So I'm going to have to write the smaller being 13. And the wider end of it is 14 and 3 quarters. Now we have to take into account the depth or the length of the seat. The overall bracket is 14 inches, but we're more likely looking for the seat hole. We'll say 12 and 3 quarters for the length. All right, so now we can go inside the car and take measurements in there. All right, now that we're inside the car, we can take our inside measurements. We're going to start with the width, and from center line of each bolt, we're going to record that measurement. So in this case, it's 16 inches on center. So for the upright, for the length of the car, we're just going to go from, we're going to have a 90 degree bend to meet this bolt. So we're going to measure from the forward edge of this seat bracket to the center line of the rear seat mount bolt. And in this circumstance, it's 14 and a quarter. I'll write that down. And just for safe measure, let's make sure this is the same, which it is. All right, so now we're going to bring our measurements over to the bench and compare. All right, here are my measurements laid out in front of you. You're going to compare from left to right. So you can see our seat width itself is 13 inches, and we have a little bit of play right here. We can go up to 14 and 3 quarters if needed. Now over here, the car measurement is 16 so that's going to be quite a width difference we're going to have to work through. Length being 12 and 3 quarters of the seat, 14 on this, which is really no problem. We're just going to have extra length of material on our, our seat bars. So where this correlates is where I've color coded this. Um, the blue being the car. These are my car measurements. This is where these bars are going to bolt to the car. These are representing the seat brackets themselves or two inches wide. Now the reason for going two inches wide is so I can use the full width being 16 for the outer bolts. It's going to bolt to the car and our inner bolts are going to bolt to the seat frame itself. So just, just to show you the difference, 13 here, well technically we're going to use the 14 and 3 quarters to make up that difference and the 16 being the car. So we're going to have insides and outside holes to mount this up. So now we're going to transfer our measurements to steel. All right, measurements transferred over. You can see I scribed my lines on here, have the length where I'm gonna make each piece. So these lines with the hash marks through is my cut line. We're gonna cut this here. That's gonna make the one side of a rail. This line here is a brake line. We're gonna make that 90 degree bend that I showed you earlier for the front face of this. Another cut mark, and this will be the other rail right here, followed by the next 90 degree break mark. Now we can cut this in two pieces. Alright, now I've transferred my measurements for the actual bolt holes or mounting locations from the car to the chassis and the seat mounting bolts. So now we have to drill our holes, which unfortunately my drill press is still in storage, so we're going to do it the old fashioned way. All 
All right, all drilled out. Now I got to bring it over to the vise to make the bend here and the bend there. All right, got both of these bent up the way I needed to. Also, I forgot to mention, I did have to make another second slight bend on here, maybe a 10 degree bend just to meet the contour of the floor. So now we can throw a quick coat of paint on these and see if we can get them in the car. Now we can just bolt our seat rails to the actual seat brackets themselves. Tighten them down, we can go have a test fit. Alright, now to bring it in for our first test fit. We are all bolted in here. Just look at that tight fitment. Just enough space there. The same. No more really space to move it back without it vibrating. The bolting in the back just had to fish through there and get it. This is a bit of a tight fit in this car. And if you can see, we are bolted up front as well. Let's try this out. All right, I fit. Can't beat that. That's like a steering wheel in here. All right, so there it is. Some successful seat brackets for $12.99. You can't get any better than that. Hope this video helps you out at all. And if it did, please like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.